Hello, today we're cooking oxtail kare kare. So this is a kilo and we're going to use our ninja foodie. So I put the boiling water there and then we're just gonna put this oxtail in there and we use the pressure function and we also put some onions. Let's go. So this is about 1.7 liters of boiling water. Onion. Then we'll put the pressure lid on. So use the pressure lid. Put it on. That's locked. And the vent is going there. So it should be on the seal. Is that sealed? That's sealed, isn't it? Yeah, that's sealed. And then we set up the time. So, yeah. Let's try um, 35, 35 minutes, and it's on high. While that's doing that, we're gonna um, slice the vegetables. We've got aubergine, bok choy, and some fine beans. Right. So these two are the most important um, ingredients of kare kare. So we're going to serve our kare kare with bagoong or sauteed shrimp paste. We have that ready and. Once that's done, once it's tender and all cooked, we're gonna put a cup or half cup of um, smooth peanut butter because I don't like crunchy peanut butter. I don't like peanuts. We're not putting peanuts in there. Um, the recipe calls for ground peanuts, but I don't like ground peanuts. And the vegetables are all ready. And that's it. That's how quick and easy it is to cook using this baby. 30 minutes is over. I mean 35 minutes. So I'm gonna turn this to vent. So that's finished. It looks like the pressure is off now because that indicator there is down. That means the pressure is gone. Right, so let's open our pressure cooker. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. So I put about half cup of the peanut butter so we just let it simmer I put that on medium but we can change that to high yeah. it's too much I think medium high is enough let's go so we just let the peanut butter um, melt with the soup I put the vegetables Once it's almost ready, we put the bok choy I don't want the bok choy to be overcooked Let's put the bok choy and keep the sear, keep it simmer. I can probably change this to medium, medium high. The recipe didn't call for um, beef broth. Um, beef broth cubes. 
decide I need to put some um, broth cubes to make it taste better. So that's two um, broth cubes there. So in a minute, this should be ready to go. And I put some salt and pepper as well, just to season it. Let's go. My husband couldn't wait, so this is the end product. So that's the oxtail and the vegetables. And that's the bagoong, so you serve it with steamed rice, bagoong. And then can you cut the oxtail and see how soft it is? Very soft. Very soft, isn't it? Perfect. Is it? 